Hey everybody, Deborah Korn here at Discoublion with Yale Warman. And uh, tell everybody what you do and then we'll tell everybody why we're standing in front of the HP 30,000. Sure, so again, my name is Yael Warman and I am the Content Development Manager for HP Indigo. And I'm here at Discoublion uh, to inspire people. Like there's over 1,200 people here and like you can feel the energy. Everyone is so excited and so wowed by everything. Like all the applications that our customers have done that are enabled by digital printing. Uh, so we're basically here to inspire them to do great, more innovative and creative things so that they can keep up with this ever-changing market. So why are we standing in front of the 30,000 and why did you want to tell this particular story? Okay, so the 30,000 is an incredible press for the folding carton market, which is a very interesting market. It's growing. Uh, it's it's sort of like a newer market for digital printing, but there's so much opportunity, so that's why we're here, and we'll talk about uh, some of the applications that our customers have done in a little bit. Uh, but also, what the, wh why this press is so great is because it's very versatile in terms of the substrates that it can handle. Uh, it's it's a folding carton machine, but it's not only carton. It can also print on metallic substrate, which I actually happen to have something that just came out of the press. Uh, look at how pretty this is. It was printed on, on metallic, and it's just, it, it, for something like cosmetic, oh, I'm sorry. it gives it like such a nice look. It's amazing, it? It, yeah. It looks beautiful. Uh, it can also print on uh, synthetics. So, so you don't have to right. foil it because it's already printed on metallic, so um, it's already shiny. Well, for something like that, actually, well, I, Ariel was just here. He's the product manager, so we can ask him after about okay. like all the technicalities. Okay, but I don't um, think you have to foil on this is what I'm saying. It's already shiny because of metallic paper. It is because it's printed right. on metallic. So you save on the foiling uh, is what right. I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, now it also prints on, on synthetics, so right. for example, cards, like the hotel cards. Right, or, plastic cards. Yeah, plastic cards, or like, like you right. drink too much coffee and you go right. to the same coffee shop all the time, you have like a, right. a rewards and card. That's a that very too. big trend in American direct mail, is that it you're is. getting these uh, postcards that are actually made of plastic and loyalty cards are attached the to them. loyalty cards, yeah. right. So so it can also print those. Right, very so cool. So do you have to be in the packaging market to start uh, packaging, getting a folding carton press? Well, not necessarily. Let's say if you already have a customer who does, for example, toys, and you're already printing for them the insert, like the instruction manual, well, guess what? Those toys also come in a box. So you already have the customer. How about you offer them another solution? Right. For their, for, for their business. Right. Uh, so that's the... Okay, so let's go over to the application. Sure. Uh, we'll both leave our bags there. Okay. We're going to trust everyone in France. We'll trust everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so let's talk about like this application. The okay. Jelly Bean Campaign. Uh, remember we talked about earlier about connecting the virtual world with physical print? Yes. This is a perfect example of okay. that. Uh, sometimes you buy these jelly beans and you open the bag and they're all mixed but you only pick the colors that you like. Right. Well, they made a campaign on social media where they let you choose your favorite flavors and they print them. They Flavor print them. your day. That's Genius. right. So you pick your own flavors, whichever ones you like, and they printed it with, they allowed you to put a message on the box and they shipped it directly to you. So that's a great way to connect both the physical world with the online world. Um, the brand that I mentioned before, Ahava, the cosmetics, um, like these are some of the, like see every box looks different because right. it's the same, it might be the same cream, but they come with different, Right. Smells, which it certainly looks very nice on the shelf. It you gravitate to it, and that's part of the whole. With the, with labels and packaging, that's part of the sale. That is part that's of the what great attracts you, right? Absolutely, to make it look nicer. But not only that. For example, one great opportunity about digital print is sampling. If you are a small manufacturer of of any product of of cookies, of soups, of uh, your new brand that's coming out to the market and maybe you come in different flavors. You don't know what flavors people are going to like and how are you going to print thousands of copies of each flavor and then maybe they don't sell and then you have to throw them out. It's a huge waste. So uh, this brand in Singapore, there is a, a ready-made food uh, maker and they did in digital print a small amount of each flavor. They put it out on the market and whatever flavor sold they printed more of. Genius. So something like that, if it's a small brand that are coming out to the market, that you can contact them 
and to say, hey, how about we print instead of like a simple bag maybe with a sticker right. that they printed in their whole computer, right. how about we do something that's really nice that will catch people's attention, that it might be personalized uh, or with variable data. Right. And, and those are customers that are right there. There's a lot of craft and artisan products now on the market. Those are great people right. for... A, for something like digital and print. I would just say to the printers out there, if you're going to approach these people, make sure you create samples with their logos and their products. Don't make it like insert your, your product name here. People will gravitate to stuff that's about them, as you said before. And if you would make the samples with their information on it, they can picture their product in your box. So that's fantastic. How can people get in touch Learn more about the 30,000, get demos, join the Indigo community. Where do we find you? Okay, so the first thing you can do is you're going to add a link, right, yeah. to the press. So you can visit there for more information on the website. And then just get in contact with your local salesperson in your country. And they'll give you all the information. They'll visit you and they'll tell you how you can implement a press like this one into your existing workflow. Okay, and social media channels? Just Our social media channels also. Like if you want to keep up with everything that we're doing, all the cool applications that we're doing, all the news, then you can follow us. We're on Facebook on HP Indigo Division. Uh, we're on Twitter at HP Indigo and on Instagram, same thing, HP Indigo. And also the HP Graphic Arts accounts tags everything with hashtag HP, HP Indigo, Indigo so people should follow that as well for information yes, and they can see everything that we're doing that's really cool thank you so much Yale thank you